Hey everyone, this is Brad from Elevar, and I'm going to show three ways to help you quickly find ways to create triggers inside of Google Tag Manager that you can use to send data to Google Analytics, to marketing channels like Klaviyo, Twitter, Facebook, etc. Again, three quick ways that you can find the right triggers to create inside of Google Tag Manager. In this first example, this is probably the easiest. Uh, once you have Google Tag Manager in preview mode, so inside of your GTM account, just click preview. Uh, you'll see this little orange bar pop up. All you need to do is just right click or use command to open up, command and click, which will open this up into a new window. So I've gone ahead and just done that as an example here. So just look here in the sidebar. I'll do this for softball bats as well. So I'm just using command on a Mac, clicking on it, which opens that link in a new window. And now what I have here is you. Once you click on that click event, go to variables, you'll actually see the click classes that you need to ultimately create your filters for the trigger inside of Google Tag Manager. Super simple. So in this case, I'm just gonna copy this click class. Again, what I'm trying to do here is, what's the trigger that I need to fire an event that tells Google Analytics that somebody clicked on DMRNE bats or softball bats? If we go back to Google Tag Manager and you go to triggers, and we'll do option one, trigger configuration, all elements, some clicks, click class equals paste that click class in and save, and that's it. So now what we'll actually see here in a tag that I have pre-created, this is a Google Analytics event that we're sending with a navigation and then nav click with a click text variable. So I'm gonna change this trigger to use the option one, which I just demonstrated. Save this. Now my expectation is once I click refresh here and reload, I'm expecting that tag to fire as I'd expect. So again, command click, opens that up in a new window, fires a click event here, and then you'll see my tag fired successfully, which is great. And scrolling down, you'll see the event action label, DMRNE bats, and the labels I just have on the, the page URL for the event label. But that's it, that's super simple. You can see how easy that, that is. Again, this works probably 60 to 70% of the time in my experience, and the times that you don't get something as clear, or if you want to make something that is more of a parent roll-up click, then this is option number two. Again, we're on the home page here. I'm gonna stick to this main navigation. So let's say you wanted to create a trigger that captures all navigation clicks. I'm gonna use my mouse here, inspect, and now you'll see this will open up the dev console panel. And if, as you hover over this, you'll see the little blue bar pop up. So I'm going to go to the top of where this has all of my child navigation elements here. I'm just gonna click on this, and you'll see the accessible nav up top. Now, when you're inside of your DOM or the dev tools, go ahead and right click, copy, selector. So now I've, I've created or copied a selector that in theory will catch any clicks underneath that parent item. So we wanna track the clicks for DMRNE bats, softball bats, et cetera. We'll go back to Google Tag Manager. We'll go to triggers, option two, trigger configuration, all elements, now in this example, I'm actually going to select click element, match a CSS selector, and then paste. The only difference here is you actually need to do a comma, so you paste this in. So paste, comma, paste again, and then do a trailing star, which is basically a regex for catching all. And the reason for this is what we want to be sure we're catching is anybody who's clicking on any of those child elements. So again, all we want to create one trigger that'll catch any clicks on anything up here. So now we're going to save this. Go back to our main nav uh, event. Change our trigger to option two. Save. Now my expectation is once I refresh, and reload, close some of these extra windows out. 
that I should see a, trig a tag fire on any one of these clicks. So we'll click here and we'll click there. And just as I, I hoped, we see the main nav has fired two times. If we go to our summary here and actually look at the event, expand this, let's just make sure it's catching the uh, appropriate nav labels. So we have Demarini bats in this one. And if we go to click, scroll down, we should see softball bats. Perfect. Okay. Now one thing to consider here in this example for main navigation especially is double check in when you go back to the dev tools and go to your simulation for mobile is you'll see this actually has a separate menu. And if I were to open that, inspect it, there's actually a, you'll see the mobile nav is a separate navigation. So it's a separate click element than the desktop nav. Go through the same process. And what I've done here inside of GTM already <clears throat> is I have a separate click for mobile navigation and then you assign this trigger in addition to the other one you created, assign it to that same tag. That way that, that tag will fire on mobile and desktop views. So that's the second way to find the trigger that you need to assign to a tag. The third way is uh, our own tool that we built, which makes these two processes even faster. Inside of your LLVR account, uh, if you go to your personal settings, you'll see a Google authorization here, which will authorize Google Tag Manager. And then at that point, what we're doing is we are pulling in your accounts and containers and workspaces. And we're also pulling in your Google Analytics variable that you have built in. And if you have multiple, you'll be able to select, uh, you'll be able to select those, uh, pardon the zoom, definitely not part of the presentation, but once you have those settings saved, then you can actually go through and create tags by just pointing and clicking your mouse. So in this example, I'm going to hover over and catch our whole menu. We'll click here and you'll see we have the accessible nav that is an auto generated selector. And I'm going to do option three for our tag. So this, this would be the event name. Uh, excuse me. This was the tag name inside of a Google tag manager. And then we select the trigger type. So if we wanted to do a click visibility or page view, you can go ahead and select that here. I will do a click and then I'm going to fill out our event category, which would be global, which is already saved. Our event action could be just like we were doing previously for the click text. And then I could do main menu, uh, append that onto the click text variable page URL. I'm going to leave that for the event label. And now my last option that I need to choose here is do I want this tag to fire on all pages or just specific pages? So since this is a navigation, I'll leave this to all pages and I think I'm good. So I can save and create another. If I wanted, you'll see the event is saved. So now we'll go to our tags here and you'll see the option three, which has not been imported to Google tag manager yet. So now I'm going to click this import events to GTM and we'll head on over to Google tag, tag manager. I'm going to refresh. And there we have it. So we have option three. So option three was the tag that we just created. Everything is in there. We have global, the action label, our analytics variable assigned, and then our trigger that's already created. And you'll see we are automatically doing the child setup. So we're grabbing that click element and then making sure we're catching anything underneath. At that point, I'm done. I could publish. And just think about how fast you'll be able to go through and tag a site uh, very quickly without any need to inspecting inspect elements and creating triggers. It's as simple as going through creating the event here using the point and click tagger and you're on your way to creating all the events that you need to push into GA or any other marketing channel. Again, that's three ways to find triggers to help you create the tags inside of Google Tag Manager. If you have any questions, please let us know in the comments below. Thanks and talk to you soon.